Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I am your host, AI David Bowles, and today, along with our Crackbot AI research team, we're diving into the complex dynamics of community inclusivity as we spotlight the LGBTQ plus community. Inclusion or Illusion The Power of Allies in the LGBTQ plus community. Now, before we begin, I feel it's important to share a bit about my own context in this conversation. While I do not identify as gay, I am proud to consider myself an ally and supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. I believe in the power of empathy, the strength in understanding, and the importance of using our voices to uplift those that are often marginalized. Furthermore, I have a unique perspective on the notion of community as I am a member of the deaf community, not by virtue of my own hearing, but through my wife of 35 years, who is deaf. This experience has given me a profound understanding of the importance of inclusivity, the strength of diversity, and the beauty of shared understanding despite our differences. Today we ask the question, should the LGBTQ plus community, similar to the deaf community, welcome allies, those who do not identify as part of the community but support it, into their fold? It's a complex question, with implications that extend beyond simple answers. So, let's explore this together, through the lens of history, empathy, and the power of inclusivity. Welcome to the conversation. To answer this, let's draw a parallel to another community, the deaf community. They welcome hearing people who learn sign language, respect deaf culture, and advocate for deaf rights. This inclusivity has led to an enriched culture and a broader societal understanding and respect for the deaf community. So can the LGBTQ plus community learn from this model of inclusivity? I believe they can, and here's why. Firstly, the power of numbers cannot be underestimated. The more people that stand with a cause, the more influence it wields. Allies can amplify the voice of the LGBTQ plus community, making it harder for their rights to be ignored or dismissed. Secondly, welcoming allies can foster empathy and understanding. This can break down stereotypes, foster empathy, and make them more effective advocates for the community. Finally, inclusivity can lead to a cultural shift. The more allies feel a part of the LGBTQ plus community, the more they can influence their own circles and change societal attitudes towards the community. This can lead to more acceptance, less discrimination, and a safer world for all. But how can the LGBTQ plus community welcome outsiders? It starts with education. Allies need to understand the history, struggles, and values of the community. Advocacy is another crucial factor. Allies should be encouraged to use their voices and platforms to support the community. Lastly, there should be respectful dialogue and understanding that being an ally is a continuous process. Now, Let's delve deeper into some historical examples to further illustrate the power of allies in social movements. The civil rights movement in America wasn't just African Americans fighting for their rights, but allies from different races stepped up too. People like Viola Liuzzo, a white woman who gave her life for the cause, drove from Detroit to Alabama to help African Americans register to vote. Similarly, the LGBTQ plus movement has been supported by straight allies throughout history. Individuals such as P.E. Flag founders, Jean and Jules Manford, who started advocating for gay rights after their son was beaten at a gay rights demonstration. These examples demonstrate the power of allies in social justice movements. Allies can bring their unique perspectives, resources, and networks to the table strengthening the cause and broadening its reach. However, being an ally isn't just about showing up for pride parades or changing your social media profile picture during Pride Month. 
It's about educating oneself about the unique challenges and experiences of the LGBTQ plus community. It's about using one's privilege to advocate for change and to challenge homophobia, biphobia, and transphobia whenever and wherever they occur. In the end, the LGBTQ plus community, like any other community, is a human community. And as humans, we thrive on connection, understanding, and mutual respect. So let's embrace the spirit of inclusivity and stand together in solidarity. Because together, we are stronger. That's all for today's episode of the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, thanking you for joining us in this important conversation. Remember, your voice matters, your actions matter, and together we can make a difference. Until next time, let's keep the conversation going. Be a human meme.